Bending Spoons purchased StreamYard in April. Founders Dan and Gage are gone and with them the weekly town hall. In a mid-July update, they shared that Dark Mode, Reusable Studios, and 4K would roll out soon. A month and a half later, those features are supposedly rolling a lot out along with new names and features for their subscription plans. I currently don't have access to the new features. Do you? <laughs> Today's video is more of an update and I'll share everything I know about StreamYard in the full video. So StreamYard is web-based live video and video production suite. Um, it is, it is, it is a full suite <laughs> that has become a standard in live streaming. Uh, their founding pillars are simplicity, ease of use, and professional streams, uh, which resonated with a large audience of businesses, brands, creators, entrepreneurs, basically everyone who wanted to go live. I have personally covered the platform for years. I've worked with the StreamYard team to produce videos for their channel. And StreamYard is still a go-to resource for getting people started for client projects and for team produced streaming clients. Uh, all of those things I'm definitely excited to continue using StreamYard for. In April of this year, StreamYard was purchased by Bending Spoons, which wasn't new because they had been purchased before, uh, but the, the major change was that Dan and Gage the StreamYard founders would no longer be at the company. Bending Spoons put out a short three minute video sharing their excitement to serve and then they went quiet. <laughs> um, a very short video uh, from somebody with a heavy accent, but they went quiet leaving subscribers and supporters to their thoughts and imaginations about the platform's viability and future. Uh, Mid-July, about two and a half months later, we got our first Bending Spoons led StreamYard Town Hall, uh, detailing some great new features and um, the promise for increased stability and longevity of the platform. But here's the issue. The two and a half month wait for a town hall was shocking to supporters because founders Dan and Gage had these town halls literally every week, <laughs> every Sunday since the company was started. I can tell you at the time of this recording, it's been a month and a half since that town hall. And while we haven't had any other uh, StreamYard town halls, they have I've shared in a blog post and YouTube post that they have revamped all the subscription plans. And um, so here, here is uh, on the screen, you can see uh, the StreamYard community tab on their YouTube channel. If you click on read more, see that that thing says just three days ago, it says, hello, StreamYard community. As of today, we will be replacing our legacy self-serve subscription offerings with three new StreamYard subscription plans, core, advanced and teams. I want to say that again, core advanced and teams. And so they share kind of a quick overview of what's changing. Customers on essential starter and basic plans will be transitioned to core, right? That's going to be the core plan. Customers on the professional plan will be transitioned to advanced. And that's actually where my plan is. So I did take a look at that. And I think that you guys should as well. Um, then they said, Customers on their premium and growth plans will be transitioned to teams and um, free and business users will remain in their current plan. So if you're on the free plan, nothing changes for you. But uh, definitely if you're on any of the others, if you're not on if you're not on free or business, you definitely want to go in and take a look at what these new plans are going to yield. All eligible StreamYard customers will be transitioned to the new plans over the course of the next 30 days. So you'll be notified via email once the change has taken place. So some of us uh, like me, if you're like me, you haven't really gotten that update just yet, but it is something that is going to be coming. And we, you, you definitely want to just go ahead and make sure you take a look, take a look at what uh, in, is included in that plan. What I do know uh, is that the plans will probably include more than what you 
had before, I, I think for most of us. Um, but what I am unclear on is what the price is going to look like. I actually don't know what that is. And definitely, if that price is going to change, there will be uh, some uproar, <laughs> some some issues from the community, especially if the price goes up. If the price goes down, I don't think anybody's going to have any issues. Uh, let me also share that the, the promised features that they talked about in that town hall some time ago, uh, they said that those would be rolling out as well. In fact, I want to put on the screen the blog post from their from their website. Uh, this is their new.streamyard.com uh, product update site. And some of the things that they share here uh, are the features that will be rolled out. Some of them we've been asking for for a very long time. Dark mode. <laughs> this should be a, like a general uproar. I have actually shared a video on the channel on how you can hack uh, StreamYard to have dark mode. Uh, but I, it, even in that video, this was years ago, I, I, I was lamenting and, and basically complaining as to why this hasn't been a feature that they've rolled out before. But hey, better late than never, I guess. So definitely going, and this is gonna be available to all plans. So not necessarily specific to any one plan. Uh, continuing down, we have 4K local recordings. Um, 4K local recording. So what does that mean? Um, what we'll be able to record in 4K locally. Um, local recordings is something that I've covered on this channel. We've talked about how that feature works. Uh, once this feature rolls out, I will try to update that local recordings video, but you will be able, you currently could only record up to 1080p. Now you can actually record up to 4K. Now, if you don't have a 4K camera, <laughs> you won't be able to uh, record in 4K. But, but you want to keep that in mind because this is definitely something that uh, the community has been asking for. And um, I have my thoughts and opinions where 4K or even 1080p is concerned from StreamYard because it doesn't seem to match up with uh, what we see from the camera when you record directly. But that's not necessarily a StreamYard problem. It's more of a web-based streaming platform problem. Reusable Studios. This is a big one. One of the things I absolutely love about Ecamm, one of the things I love about even Restream is that I don't have to continually update the link that I'm sending to people uh, for them to be able to connect in. If I have a podcast, I want to be able to set that up, send that out to people, send out that link to uh, send that set up that link in the format for my uh, sign up sheet so that when the person signs up to record the podcast, they get an appointment and that appointment has the right link with StreamYard prior. I would always have to be updating that link. And so I actually started moved over to something else with reusable studios. What that means is you can continue to use that link over and over and over. Uh, you know, as long as you're using that to record your show, or if you have a regular show that you know you're gonna wanna have people coming on and off, you can use that studio for that show and you can have your guests come in um, regardless of which episode it is, you don't have to have new links. That was a frustration for me, although I know it wasn't a frustration for everyone. <laughs> I know that was some people kind of like the fact that there was a new link every single time. Um, th this fourth one was not a part of the original town hall that they, sh they the town hall updates that they shared about a month and a half ago, mid July, and that is camera shape. So literally just in this update, we have received this brand new uh, ability and it hasn't rolled out to me yet. Uh, you guys, I hope it is, is gonna be rolling out pretty soon, but I have to tell you, this is a major, major, major update. Uh, custom layouts and then now the ability to have camera shapes is going to be a game changer. So I'm super excited about this and um, wanting to make sure that we're able to highlight this in some coming videos on this channel. Uh, another one that they shared, uh, they kind of alluded to this, but it is also kind of an Easter egg, and that is 1080p screen sharing. 1080p screen sharing. Um, and, and some of you are probably thinking to yourself, well, I thought it was 1080, nope, it wasn't. It was 720p before. Uh, so now you have 1080p screen sharing, which, which means if you're sharing your screen like I am right now, you're gonna be able to get higher quality quality video, more definition and detail um, 
you people are going to be able to read smaller text, finer fonts um, when you share your screen. So that's going to be a big update for those that actually use it. Listen, I wanted to share this update on my channel because many of you are StreamYard subscribers and come here for updates, tips, tricks and best practices. Some have even asked what's going on. So this video update is for you. My plan is to continue providing StreamYard content, but the sporadic nature that updates are being made make it difficult to maintain the level of consistency you've seen before and have become used to. For these four or five new features, as soon as I gain access, you can expect individual videos immediately. In the comments, let me know which feature you're excited about or sound off if you're upset about this whole transition. If you're new, StreamYard is still a great option. In fact, in the free plan, which packs a punch, uh, you can utilize that. And in this video right here, I share with you steps on how to maximize your use of the free plan. Click right here to watch and I'll see you over there. <laughs> Grace and peace, fam.